Hi guys, a very warm welcome back to Motorhome Adventures from a very wet, windy, grey, dull West Wales. February 2024. February, it's dreary. It is. So it's a good time really to be indoors and we're heading off to the Motorhome Show. Yep. In, uh, in Birmingham. So it should be good. And we're hoping to film a fair few of um, some mm. motorhomes there and have a good look round and uh, bring you some um, interesting and varied vans. Yeah, absolutely. Have a mooch around a few vans as you do at the motorhome show. So enjoy this film. Keep an eye out for two or three more, perhaps four or five more, appearing on the channel over the next few days um, of some of the sights and sounds of the NEC February 2024. So now here's a nice auto sleeper van. Looks like they've done a bit of a facelift on the interior. This one's the um, symbol. It's on a Fiat chassis. Five, five and a half metre long. And you see you get a, it's not an outrageously low payload, but um, you're sort of on the edge of getting a bit tight now, payload there, particularly depending on what it includes, which I suspect perhaps doesn't include things like the uh, awning and stuff like that. but. A tuba, 450 kilo payload, coming in at a fraction under 80k there. Very on trend, aren't they, these greys? Let's go and have a look inside. And it's quite sort of, yeah, it is quite, uh, quite plush, isn't it? Very nice. Do you nice. think they'd include the matching step? Well, definitely not. No, in fact, look, it's got one that electric step oh, yes, that pops out under out, there. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Probably comes out with the uh, as the door opens. Yeah, not leather. It's a sort of fabric finish, but yeah, quite comfy. Comfy seats. It is comfy. Yes. Yeah, I guess this is the bedding area as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Little bits of storage under there. The trim's nice, isn't it? I like the colouring. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good, nice design. Good old modern Fiat Dash. That's the digital Fiat Dash now. Good to see them going over to that digital version. A bit more visible, I suspect, that the uh, clocks are than the one in our 2021 Fiat. Nice little bits of storage. Yeah, cushions hid under there. That's probably our extra cushions for the bed there, isn't it? That's a neat little cooker, isn't it? It is, yeah. Triple, yeah, triple burner as well. That's amazing what you can fit in. Yeah. Yeah, decent sized oven. Yeah, and then you've absolutely. Got your microwave on top. In fact, I much prefer the oven at that level than where ours is, which is yes. sort of up at that level. I always isn't find it, this much, much easier at this yeah. level. Um, yeah. This feels safer down here for some yeah. reason than taking stuff out higher up. It feels bigger than five and a half metres, though, doesn't it? It does, actually. Yeah. And then. Let's have a look in there. There's your TV. Aerial points, your Wi-Fi system, there's your pole for your dining table. Got a max view system on the roof there. And there's your uh, control panel. Some little cubbies up the top there. And a bit more at the front there as well. See there, it's just got these pinched together, these two, to open these open these blinds that come across and meet in the middle of the screen there. And again, a similar, uh, similar system just there. Very nice too. And just, nice with the carpets in, isn't it? It is, yeah. I've just noticed this protective cover, obviously, that comes over. Yeah. Um, which, again, is handy for preparing yeah. stuff, isn't it? You've yeah. got an extra surface. Um, Tough and glass, it's isn't a good it? size shower and um, built-in toilet. 
It's not bad, is it? Oh, yeah. For a, you know, a smaller van. That's not bad at all. And you can literally have a shower in here. Yeah. Yeah, and you could probably, well, I could certainly stand up in that. That's definitely yeah. more than me. Shall I do the test? Oh, yes, do the, do the high test. You're five foot seven, aren't you? It's all right, yeah. Five seven, oh, and... Oh, I did wonder how you'd sit on the loo with the sink out there, but, of course, just you just push it up like that. Yes. And then you can... Yeah. ...gain access. Oh, plenty of room above your head there, yeah. That yeah. would, that would take a just over six foot person in there. It's pretty good, isn't it? You're locking me in. <laughs> Get enough Left of in already. there, never, never to come out. Yeah, I've only stay been here 20 bit. minutes at the show, and I've locked, locking her away already. <laughs> and a little fridge at the back here. Oh, I say little. That's quite a good size. Yeah, it is, isn't it? No, it's, it's got a little freezer compartment as well. Yes. Pretty good. Get your ice cream in. Oh, uh, ice cream! I've never known you want ice cream. Well, Surely a, not. It's the only reason you have a van is for the freezer and the ice cream. A bit of storage right down the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, I do like the touch with the carpeting, though. It definitely makes them a bit more homely, doesn't it? Makes it, it cosy, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. And they've got, um, I don't know if you can see it around here, they've got a built-in table just... Oh, I'll come round. ...slotted in. Yeah, you can see it from the back when you go around. <clears throat> ah, yes, there's the table. Yeah. Quite handy, isn't it? It is, yeah. Slotted in neatly. Morning pole there. Cassette toilet pops out there. Nice and easy to get that out. Very nice too. A tad under 80k. Good old Fiat alloy wheels. Yeah, very nice too. So the auto sleeper symbol. Five and a half meters, 450 kilos payload. Very nice little camper. Hope you enjoyed the film. Mm. And as always, we thank you all for supporting us and continuing to uh, watch our films. It's very much appreciated. And uh, thank you to our old and new subscribers. Oh, absolutely, yes. A big thank you to you, to you all. And I uh, hope you enjoyed those few little snapshots uh, of the show this year. Take care and we will see you on the road very soon, I'm sure. We will. Bye see for you guys. now. Bye.